And Angie mentioned there, and what it that hits you straight away is Angie Ranch. You know, this is the sort of evening that you associate with someone of his quality. Uh, maybe not maybe not starting as he hasn't done tonight, but certainly a player that can come on, can change a game. Um, a player that can come from the middle of the park, he has, he has done in the, in the past, in European nights. A player that can score goals, uh, coming from deep. And uh, we may see an introduction of him at some point in the evening. Well, tonight there's Rangers' 20th competitive game of the season. And before so far, two of them in the Champions League. Juventus have played six games fewer, which is a fair old difference at uh, this stage of the year. Another indication of uh, what Scottish footballers have to put up with. Meanwhile, play gets underway again. As it said, John Brown conceding the throw-in. So there's activity below us on the Rangers bench, and uh, Ian Durant is preparing to come on there's a sad sight of uh, Stephen Wright being stretched away on the far side so Ian Durant who's been here for 11 and a half years he's now 29 years of age and a man who knows what it's about to score in the Champions League and uh, in European competition and he's in the thick of the action already there's Bolin off stretches for that one it comes off gas point to Solenko the early ball from him looking for Charlie Miller but uh, Perini is there so we've now gone 25 minutes we've just still trailed by a goal to nil this is Sosa and steps Durant good quality pass from him that's what Rangers need this is Charlie Miller They're getting clear forward Durant's kept the run going Great play by Durant, that was Torricelli diving in to head the ball behind. But a quality pass from Ian Durant to Charlie Miller. Durant, which springing through the middle. And Rangers have the corner. It's a header going in from Petric. It's not the fact that, that Ian Durant had made the pass. It's the fact that when Charlie Miller has collected the ball and looks up, the first person he sees in the ball is Ian Durant again. And that, that is what his trademark is, you know, the timing of his runs, the stamina, the number of runs that he makes, the, the way he's prepared to go in the, in the box, not, not just to get in there, but to get in there with a belief that he can score a goal. And he, he will be an important man this evening. Well, Rangers trail in this match, but uh, in the last four games here against Italian opposition, and they've actually won them all, two against uh, Internazionale in Milan. And one against uh, Juventus and one against Torino. But that's all history now. And we've got uh, the proverbial mountain to climb here tonight. It's laid off by De Livio. Now he drives to head that one. Picked up nicely by Gascoigne. Now it's Brown. Slip by Brown as he hit that one, but uh, Salenko has it. Then comes McCall, but loses out to Conte. Gascoigne's there again. Petric, a long ball, but uh, asking a lot here of uh, Charlie Miller. And uh, Perini has the confidence to make the pass back to his goalkeeper. And it's a uh, Rangers ball. And Jonathan's in a hurry to get on with things. This is Ian Ferguson. Now they're trying to send that one back through towards Ian Durant. Is Torricelli to Delivio. Torricelli looking for Vialli. He's made the run. Off with him. That goes those Rangers way. I feel that uh, Paul Gascoigne has got to get himself more involved in the game. I know it's difficult. But he's, he's certainly got to get a free from a Rangers play. He's got to get on the ball. Got on some of those famous runs that, uh, that he can do, where he can divide people, create space, play that telling pass. But at this moment in time, he, he's not doing that, you know? Just a moment ago, Ian Durant trying to pick him out with a long ball. He's not to get it into his feet. Stayed off by Milat again. He went to track quickly. That was uh, Carlos Sosa. 
This is Del Piero. Pacanabi runs in support. So it's Del Piero, and he's tripped there by Durant. And if he could go as Juventus away. Piero gets the free kick, which he's uh, waiting to take. The alleys in the middle being watched by Goff. In comes Olivio as well, and it's Brown who gets his head to the ball. There's a Conte stretching in, and it's out for the throw into Rangers. And coming up for the half hour mark. Rangers trail by a goal to nil. Del Piero after 17 minutes. Rangers have battled hard in this first half, but again, you can see the quality they're against. It's attacking our day through for Viale. Del Piero's ahead of him. The support coming on the left-hand side from Pesotto, who likes to get forward. And it's uh, Durant who's had to drop deep. Goes it to Brown. Brown does well in a very tight situation. That's McCall. Bowen, and then just played the word of that well. And comes Brown again. And that's uh, Gascoigne who heads out. So there's a the story so far. 1 0 to Juventus. Rangers battling to get back into the game. But the more they push forward, the greater the danger of being caught. This is Delivio. Torricelli. Goff wins that win easily against Takinardi. It's at the other end, it's uh, Perini who does the same against Zelenko. This is Petric, hassled by Del Piero. And uh, Gorham sends that one out of play. The defenders arguing with one another. Gorham doesn't look too happy either. So Petric with Del Piero. Good strong clearance. Out of the way by Perini. Goes taken by Gascoigne. This is Goff. Bowen starts a run. It's uh, cut out though easily by Delivio. Delivio gets through a lot of good work on that uh, right-hand side of the field. He's back there providing cover for Torricelli when needed, and then pushing forward. Cause problems at the other end. We saw his threat also in the first game. Here come Rangers, oh, it's Durant. Solenko's ahead of him. Charlie Miller's in the middle. Nice touch by Solenko, he's got a lot to do here, though. And again, Juventus gets plenty of players back. Meanwhile, the flag has gone up against uh, Viale and Del Piero, who had... Uh, taking possession of the ball, but uh, the flag went up immediately. And we just had the free kick just inside their own half. Juventus have gone into this match this evening in a maximum nine points after three straight wins. Rangers have just a one point. Bowen, Brown, now it's Gascoigne, playing it through the middle looking for Charlie Miller, but again he's crowded out, this is Conte, with Durant, breaks away to Gascoigne, Goff, now it's McCall, Brown, Goff has pushed well forward, he's calling for the high ball, but uh, that's uh, Viali who charges that one down. So again Richard Goff pushing forward, but uh, Viali doing some good work there. This is Petric. It's easily taken by Angelo Peruzzi. Gascoigne was well forward on that occasion, but had uh, absolutely no chance of getting to the ball. That's nicely left there by Viali. Delivio. Viali again. Del Piero's in the middle. Being watched by Petric. He's played shot to Sosa. Takanardi. That's Pesotto. It's 
Hakanadi again. Cross to Conte. Torricelli starts the run. And it's Petrich who clears as uh, Vialli tumbled. We've seen Ferguson for Rangers. Petrich. Then Goff is pushed right up alongside Salento. The Rangers are forced to backtrack. It's uh, Bolin, but uh, lots of concentration. I think they did a, a, a little uh, example there of, of what Rangers shouldn't be doing, really. Once, it, once they have possession, they've got to come out a lot quicker. They've allowed uh, Juventus to get back into a shape. And once they do that, they're very difficult to break down. Um, I think once they have possession, Rangers, without resulting to a long ball, I think that the passing has got to be a little bit more penetrating. And once you allow a team at the event is to get back into, into the shape and get people behind the ball, I find it very, very difficult to play any telling passes at all. This is Gascoigne. Bowling. Salenko calls for it. He stumbles, but uh, he's got the throw-in. Rangers have about 10 minutes of this first half left to get back in equal terms. They're trailing by a goal to nil. This is Ian Durant who controls that one well. The offside flag is up though. There's uh, Charlie Moore trying to get through. And again the referee has halted the play. But uh, Ian Durant showed lovely control again. The flag went up immediately against Charlie Miller. expect to be involved again this season in the Champions League having joined the coaching staff because of suspension and injury uh, he came on in the game a couple of weeks back in Turin and he's in from the start tonight meanwhile it's Gascoigne Petric and just getting an update from Bucharest there's still no scoring in the other match between Stoya and Borussia Dortmund The Rangers will certainly want that one to finish that way. And they'll want to get themselves right back into this game, but uh, Ian Durant will have to be more careful than that. Could be costly. Brown charges forward now. Through for Charlie Miller. The offside flag has gone up. And the Rangers fans are unhappy. A good break forward by John Brown after a mistake by Ian Durant. He, he pounced in a loose ball, pushed forward, tried to thread it through. And there wasn't an awful lot in that one. Ingham Charlie's just got to be a little bit patient. Now, that's the second time in the number of minutes. If I could just show a wee bit of patience, bend his runs, and uh, it'll come. the ball will come, but if he's just a little bit impetuous, he's going to get caught offside against players like this quality who will let him run all day. Sapisoto playing it forward. And again, uh, Del Piero goes down and uh, the Rangers defenders and uh, Paul Gascoigne who's here isn't happy either. A few players complaining to the referee. Another testing moment coming up for the Rangers defence. Any set piece involving this man always will be in a trip by Petric. And uh, this is the kind of area that uh, Del Piero punishes teams from. We've seen it already on several occasions. Well, he sends it in there, and just beyond the far post. Well, that wasn't far away there, I think it's, uh, it's Pesotto, I think he's got a touch to him actually, it's, it's come off the, the wrong side, I think if he'd have made the deflection with the other side of his head, it would have been possibly got a goal there. Solenko. We'll fight that to Rangers, but uh, still very much in this match. The flag is up again, though. And 
behind the crowd again. So their unhappiness again. It's Charlie Miller. Salenko who clipped it through and it took a deflection. But I don't think there's uh, much complaint on that occasion. So Charlie Miller who joined just over three years ago from the Rangers Boys Club. He's putting a lot of effort into his play tonight, but as Joe said, he's just uh, he's got to time the runs a bit better. So Brown's head out, laid off by McCall, picked up by Durant. Good ball through to Gascoigne, but uh, Ferreira got the touch. So taking Abbey, that's Pesotto, looking for Del Piero. Now again, he takes a tumble, and the referee rightly waves play on. Well, really, in a situation like that, they should book the Juventus player because there was uh, real play acting involved on that occasion. Meanwhile, it's Goff. Long one forward. Well, that was uh, high booked by uh, Ian Ferguson. And the referee immediately awards the free kick. And while the arguments go on, Juventus have restarted the game. Rangers must watch the concentration here. It's Pesotto moving forward, providing the cross. I think that little incident there with a the quick free kick just shows you the uh, the, the attitude of the, the, the Juventus players. I mean, they've not come here just to sit in a one nothing. Uh, they had the opportunity to take a quick free kick, got it down, they've played it, they're looking for other goals, they're looking for other chances. So, as you say, Jerry, the Rangers players will have to be very aware of what is uh, possibly in store for them if they do go to sleep. It's Bolin hitting that one forward. It's picked up by Durant. This is McCall. Durant again. Well, switches a play to Petric. The crowd are getting right behind Rangers here. Just about five minutes left of this first half. They're trailing by a goal to nil. This is good play. It's all like Salenko. Still at Salenko, battling hard. It's uh, Torricelli who's going to wait for that far side uh, to challenge him. That was good defending there by Torricelli. I mean, it was a very, very delicate and, and difficult area to be confronting uh, an attacker. And He's got him outside the box, you know, he's pushed him out, pushed him out until the moment where he actually sees the ball. He's got a glimpse of the ball and he's won his tackle. So, Alex Salenko, who uh, came in the game a couple of weeks ago, holds his place for tonight. Still to score his first European goal for Rangers, and uh, tonight would be quite the night for him if he could do it. But here come Juventus again through De Livio. Goes up, the Rubio again. Rini, Akinabe, showing great pace. Ferguson goes with him, and the free kick is awarded. And again, it's in an area that uh, could cause Rangers real problems. Excellent play that by Alessio Akinabe, showing good strength, good pace, and uh, Ferguson fouled him. So it's uh, Andy Gorham getting organised, it's uh, Souza who's over the ball, the Portuguese international player, flips it forward. Which I've got, took a tumble in the middle of all of that, but uh, Rangers get it away. It's Gascoigne. In comes McCall. And again, Juventus getting plenty of uh, players on the, the Rangers midfield, and McCall took a, a tumble there, but the referee hasn't spotted anything, still play goes on. The Sosa out to Conte. The Rangers certainly wouldn't want to lose another one here. It would really knock the stuffing out of them just before half time. It's Durant, McCall. Again, Juventus are closing Rangers down very quickly in the middle of the park. This is Charlie Miller trying to get forward. He needs some support here. And he tries to break through, but uh, Carrera was there. And that's Pesotto. Porini. Akinabe, who had that uh, terrific run just a few moments ago. And Juventus now happy to knock it about with just a couple of minutes of this first half left. I know things at this moment in time, if we take young Charlie Miller there, I mean, it's, a, it's a game, it's a very difficult game for him, and he's playing it tough, but he, I mean, he's against some quality players, but it'll be a game he'll look back on. Uh, 
and the experience and education he'll get from it will be invaluable for him. You know, he, he's against top quality players here. He's up against it. But it's going to stretch him, you know, it's, it's going to bring out the best in him. Well, as we were speaking there, Joe, uh, Charlie Miller has injured himself as uh, he went into a challenge. He made the challenge on uh, Torricelli and he's just uh, limped off the pitch for some treatment. So just under a minute uh, of the first half left, plus any stoppage time. And there have been a few knocks. Here's Brown. So that one's behind Gary Bowen. So another Rangers move ends in disappointment. The Rangers will be hoping that uh, Charlie Miller can resume. And it seems to be OK. And as we approach half-time, it's still nil-nil in Bucharest in the other Group C match between Stoya and Dortmund. This is Delibio for Juventus. Vialli tries to turn, Goffs there, uh, and uh, Vialli claims that uh, he was pushed in the face by the Rangers skipper. And he's helped back to his feet by John Brown as uh, play goes on. So we're now into stoppage time. And it's uh, Angelo Delivio who sends the ball high into the main stand. So Richard Goff has uh, pushed forward. It's played shot to Gascoigne. That one runs away behind Miller and Salenko. Well, Richard Goff has made a lot of forward runs tonight. Uh, but uh, to no avail. One from Peruzzi. Petrich is there. It's returned by Conte. A great deal of chances have been made tonight, and uh, just that slip by Gordon Petrich. And a uh, splendid finish by Del Piero. Uh, the difference at the moment. Rangers have worked very hard, but uh, they've never put any fuel pressure on Angelo Peruzzi in the Juventus goal. That's a minute now of uh, stoppage time played. And a bit of a misunderstanding there, but uh, eventually the goalkeeper uh, responds. Carrera wanted him to come for the ball. Meanwhile, it's a free kick against John Brown for his challenge on Vialli. Well, Vialli's been in the wars these last uh, few minutes. First of all, he was challenged by uh, Richard Goff on that occasion uh, by John Brown. Certainly shot to Conte. So is that the reveal? And steps uh, Durant. And it's Ferguson. Petrick starts to break out of defence. The sort of goes to meet him. Going to play two minutes of stoppage time. There's uh, Ian Durant picks up the play. It's out to Ferguson. And it's another slack pass. And it was Souza who intercepted. And the half-time whistle sounds. Well, Rangers have battled hard against tremendous opponents, but again, it's that man, Del Piero, who punished them. It was a self-inflicted wound. The ball was played in from the right, and Gordon Petrich, it looked as though he'd have it under control, but uh, dropped just beyond him, and Del Piero swooped. And a half-time score here at Ibrook Stadium is Rangers nil, Juventus 1. Yeah, well, a disappointing but far from despondent performance from the Scottish champions in the first half. But join us again after this break for halftime analysis from Alex and Trevor. Welcome back. It's 1 0 Juventus over at Ibrox. Trevor, what do you make of it? Again, it's got, you've got to say it's disappointing because um, we started a lot better in this game than we did obviously in Turin and uh, just getting the feel for the game and they're going to score a goal which was really out of nothing. It was again a defensive mistake yeah. and um, Del Piero scored, put, tucked it away very, very professionally indeed. There it was, Alec. A bit yeah. of a nightmare for Petric. Yeah, he just got caught under the ball. I think it was obviously put off by Vialli's presence in there and he's tried to attack the ball before Vialli got to it. 
in all honesty, Viali was never getting it. Mm -hmm. And he's left it wide open for Del Piero, who's dispatched it easily. Uh, I think halfway through that, Gordon Petrus realised he wasn't going to get that, and it was almost a half-hearted jump. Uh, just a, basically an error, and Del Piero put it away tremendously. Gary Bowen's been thrown in at the deep end tonight, absolutely, Alex, and uh, a nice moment for him, nutmegging Delivio. He'll remember that moment, <laughs> as Jerry be, said in commentary. That'll be 20 press-ups for Delivio. <laughs> no, Bowen's got a great attitude of what came up under 21 level, and he's, he's a good whole-hearted player, and he's, he's done fairly well tonight. It's a nice wee bit of skill here, where you see it, the nutmeg. That's, mm -hmm. that's a good confidence booster for Gary. He's done quite well um, early on there, saw quite a lot of the ball. But, I mean, that's, that's going to help him. We need balls in like that. We haven't been in that position often enough, but uh, if you can repeat that sort of thing in the second half, we have a chance. Peruzzi hasn't had to do much, but mm. maybe looks slightly dodgy at corners. I mean, he's, yeah. he's not absolutely convincing, Trevor. That's right. No, we haven't um, given him too much to, to be worried about, but that was one thing. Gaspin put a great uh, corner in there, and we were looking for... Um, Got for Petrich to get on the end of that, but uh, he got a touch which he, you could say was enough. I think we're looking for flaws, Jim, you know, in, in Juventus. And They're the thing you've got to find that. The thing you've got to say about Peruzzi there, he's prepared to come and he's got a good hand on it, knowing that the defenders are going to cover for him when he goes for the ball so in the air there. You certainly don't feel like they're going to gift you a goal, you're mm. going to have to create the goal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we haven't created too much yet, but as you say, there's 45 minutes to go, so there's, there's time. And as we saw, when, when Juventus get the ball out, they hold on to it so well. They don't give the ball away. No, it's, uh, the, the Continentals treat it as a crime to give the ball away cheaply. They work on it so much, so often, and they really do keep it well, brilliantly. And I, I feel that at the back, they've got too much pace and power for mm. Rangers. I, I don't see it being too easy for Rangers yeah. to make openings at all. And that's something that we've got to really learn from and take on board is the way that they can keep the ball. And Alex was just touching on there how their defence pushes up and limits the space for our forward players. Yes, indeed. And uh, that's hard to play against. All right. Well, we'll take another short break now, but coming up, the whole of the second half of Rangers against Juve live from Ibrox. <laughs> Welcome back, it's still 1-0 Juventus over at Ibrox, that's because it's half-time. Ali, what, what do you make of Durant? He's come on and he's made a bit of a difference, hasn't he? Yeah, he's sparked it. He's, he's one of these players who likes to get forward, a very positive player in Durant. Makes great runs. As you see here, he started this move. And what we've got to talk about here, Jim, I think, is desire. Look at the hunger for him to get in the box here and get yeah. in the end of that. And I think he's run past maybe two or three other Rangers players to get in there. That's right, he's come on, he's, uh, he's almost come on with a point to prove, if you like. He's um, obviously disappointed not to be in the starting lineup tonight. Mm. But he's come on and really shown the bits and pieces I think that's required at this level to break down a team like Juventus. And that ball was just one of the things that he did well when he did come on. Unfortunately, it went to your favourite player, Torricelli. Torricelli. Tell us a bit oh. about him. Oh, he, absolutely, <laughs> he's called Moreno, I believe, <laughs> and uh, he's a very nice person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about Charlie Miller? Um, he's pushing forward all the time, but that's maybe right. a bit impetuous now and again. I think it's more to do with the Juvent Juventus defence. They push out so well, they press the ball brilliantly. And rather than criticising Charlie for making too early a run, the Juventus defence really do oh. hold that line brilliantly. Charlie's only set off maybe three yards of a run there and, and he's offside and that is just good defending. That is when, as they play almost a back four, they're all thinking the same thing. They're looking for that offside. Mm -hmm. From the moment that John Brown stepped forward with the ball, they had that in mind. And he was caught offside maybe three or four times. And no one can deny that uh, Miller, he certainly has a hunger for a game like this, hasn't he, Trevor? Oh, he's got a great appetite. He's, he's a young lad who's got it all in front of him. You know, if he uh, keeps his feet on the ground, he'll, he'll go a long way. Mm. And he's shown the appetite again tonight. And he just needs a little bit of luck. But it's an awful difficult job up there against quality opposition like that. So possibly, can they get back in, Ali? Well, yeah. possibly the way to beat the, a defence like that is, is by midfield runs. You know, if, if it's into Charlie Miller and back and any injured ants making the, the run, the late run, then that's the way possibly you could beat they the offside. They might get track. back in. OK. Yeah. Well, time now to go back over to Ibrooks for the second half live. Remember.